Uh, a year ago, I was uh, on a congressional trip with the Judiciary Committee uh, into the Balkan uh, region, and a, a number of the countries there living in the shadow of Russia uh, with, and also uh, the aggression of the Serbian allies of the Russians uh, were very concerned about the, their security and their future. Uh, Russia has obviously invaded the Crimea, supporting rebels in uh, the Ukraine, and is deeply involved in Syria to support the uh, dictator there. And now, in this last week, uh, our president uh, went to Europe, and uh, he went to a meeting of our closest allies in NATO, which these uh, countries on the, on the uh, periphery of Russia feel is critical to their defense. And he seems to, uh, or did, uh, deliberately uh, sow dissent and insult uh, our two longest and strongest allies in NATO, uh, Germany and England. Uh, he seemed to be facilitating the Russian agenda there. Let's weaken NATO. Let's cause dissent in Europe. But that couldn't be. He's the president of the United States. Of course he wouldn't be doing that. No, he was just being a businessman and trying to extract uh, bigger payments out of them. Uh, he, he didn't mean to weaken or threaten uh, the future of the alliance. And then uh, yesterday, in sort of very bizarre moment, uh, he meets alone with a uh, professional KBG agent dictator of Russia, uh, Vladimir Putin. We don't know what went on in that room. Maybe they watched videotapes. I don't know. Uh, but uh, the president came out again, and this time directly attacked the United States of America. How could this be? He said that our intelligence agencies, he does not believe that our intelligence agencies, his hand-picked head of the DNI, Dan Coats, told him the Russians had interfered and proved to him the Russians had interfered in our election. He said that once about a year ago. But then he comes out with Vladimir Putin and says, well, I asked him about it. He says they didn't do it. Ah, you know, there's two sides of this. We did it, they did it, who knows, whatever. Doesn't matter. Our basic institutions, our democracy, has been attacked by Russia, and Dan Coates says they're going to do it again in this election year. What can explain this bizarre behavior on the part of the President of the United States? I couldn't figure it out, so I went to my bookshelf. And I said, hmm, I'll look around my bookshelf, maybe I'll find something. And I found two books. And it's my recommended reading list to explain President Trump and some of what's going on in America today. Uh, the first would be The Manchurian Candidate. And the second would be the dystopian novel, George Orwell, 1984.